Over the next few nights, Look East is planning to showcase some of the region's most exciting high-tech companies. In a recent top 100 list of tech companies to watch, the Sunday Times mentioned many in our region. Among them, Epos Now. It's based in Norwich and run by a young entrepreneur from Great Yarmouth. Maria Veronese reports. So, uh, Tech Track 100. Yep. Made it in there again, third year. Brilliant, yeah, absolutely. So, the Times Track 100 is a collection of the UK's 100 fastest growing tech businesses. It's even more of an achievement to be in there on the third year because every year it gets harder. So, the criteria for the Times Track, if any tech business out there looking to get into it, you've got to turn over 5 million and you've got to be, uh, you've got to be trading over three years. So, each year it gets harder. So, to be included in that third year, as a tech business is just phenomenal. It's, a, it's such a great achievement for everyone in EPOS now and they should be absolutely chuffed to bits. The, 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 the software team here is involved in how the business performs, what we do, our customers, as the sales guys or the service guys. Uh, we're, we're all kind of in it together and on that journey and I think making people, getting people to believe in that and be proud of the software that we produce is absolutely key to getting them to, to deliver really good stuff and, and as rapidly as we can. Uh, as our customer base changes from lots of SMEs to um, bigger corporate customers and of course as we get more, you know, thousands of customers a month joining the platform, it has to have that scale. Um, Stephen, you've been here for how long now, mate? Um, just over two years. Two years, well, mm -hmm. okay. Um, obviously again, you were on the BBC, you studied at the UEA as well, right? Yeah, yeah, local, local study at UEA, it's a great time. So I spoke to Lewis, who the guys saw earlier on in this episode, um, he said that it wasn't imperative that you necessarily have a degree, and I know that Jason's a big believer in that as well. I mean, I'd, I'd certainly agree. It's, it's not it's not imperative to have it. It was certainly useful, and I, I do still use some of the, the things I learned there learn there now around like structuring proper software, the delivery process, all that kind of thing. So it was useful, but it's by no means by no means a must have really, um, as well as like what I'd learned at university. I'd learned a lot before then and after then as well. Probably as much before and after than I did during the time. So, what, uh, what about your qualification? Okay, so um, I've got an A level, um, but I've, I've, <laughs> I've got a degree in hospitality management. So um, a bit of a change, a bit of a change as soon as I left university when I was about 12 or 13, which is a long time ago and before everyone had computers. I was, I was, you know, very much into it and wanted to like learn about it so I was sort of self-taught in my bedroom and and um, and then I, I did my degree and really found that I was better at computing than I was at um, hospitality management and I, th I think you find that you know Steve t talking about people with and without degrees um, those, those some of the best programmers are those guys who were when they were 13 were sat in their bedroom you know a bit geeky and um, just teaching themselves and building websites or whatever mm. and, and, and they've got those skills and then they go and do a degree that cements a lot of that and gives structure to it or they come in and they, they learn that on the job from other people around them. I'm Lewis, I'm a software engineer at Epos now. A lot of us didn't really have much industry experience especially in hospitality and retail. Now we've got a lot of people that spend a lot of time speaking to customers, speaking to people who work with our customers um, try and get the best feel that we can so we actually build something that's worth it. Have you got any advice for anyone who wants to pursue a, a career in software? Play. Play at home. Download whatever you can. Build whatever you can. Find stuff to build. Read articles on the internet. Just explore it. Really immerse yourself in it. We have made Tech Track 100 again. Yay! <laughs> I, I assume it's not easy to build that kind of software. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it is sometimes difficult and we enjoy it actually, <laughs> even in that. <laughs> you like the stress too. Yeah, no, it's yeah. good. The, the team works really well together um, and I think that really comes across when we do have a lot of stress. Um, when we do have big releases, everyone really pulls well together. Everyone's on point, everyone knows what the end goal is. Um, so we can all work that as, as a team. It's really, really fun, yeah. I think. The, the first thing is to understand what the customer wants 
um, so we can chat to customers, we've got a list of beta customers that really help us sort of understand what they want from a hospitality environment or a retail environment, really get under the skin of what the customer wants um, and as soon as we've got that then that goes to the development team. Um, then it goes to our testing team which Sarika manages. Um, she can test that it works and really make sure from that customer they've said I want this, this, this. When you're testing it, it does this, this, this in a really user-friendly way. So Sharika, you've been here for how long now? Four years. I have been four here years. for four years. So you've definitely seen some work go into the software that's been built. Yes, actually we started in Prince of Wales Road with eight people, including me. Now it is a team of 30 people and I'm proud that uh, to see how, how many phases the software has gone through. Um, you've got a massively talented team behind yeah. you. Obviously, uh, I need it now. <laughs> in the software team. Yeah. Uh, we spoke to Jeremy, Lewis, Stephen, yep. some great people out there. Yeah. Um, how do you go about finding the right people for the right position? Because not all of them come from, you know, what you would expect. Yeah. But they're all achieving exactly what you expect and more. Okay, yeah. So I'm not from a tech background. Um, so it's, it, 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 my hat's really off to them because obviously this award is about technology. And, and it's brilliant. It's an award, you know, solely really aimed at, you know, what we've achieved as a business or revenue. But but most of it is aimed at the the technology guys and the software team. You know, they're they're brilliant. They're all from varied backgrounds. I don't know if you know, but Jeremy, our CTO, he originally had a hospitality degree, um, so he's worked in various tech businesses. And we were lucky enough for him to join us. And um, so he helps me build the team. He helps me put that team together. And and, and one of the unique approaches that we had at Epos now um, was was working an agile method. So allowing allowing the programmers to take more pride in their work and, and help us unpick the problems that most people are faced with. You know, we really want our guys to get under the skin of the businesses, to really understand you know, what makes a hospitality business stick, uh, tick, what makes a retail business tick. So it's, it's basically finding people who are really passionate about what they do, but really passionate about learning what the customers do. Remember, there's no, there's no real blueprint for this kind of stuff because we're building it from the, from the start. So it's about getting out there with the customers, which, which our guys are really passionate about, and making sure they, they sit down with the customers, work out their processes, find out what really works for them, and create some innovative solutions together. So it's just the passion that really drives these guys forward, I think. So the industry is constantly changing, and without our guys being passionate and really understanding you know, the needs and wants of our customers and understanding how other innovative businesses are deploying this technology, you know, we certainly wouldn't be able to get on the track and retain there. Um, so it's a real big shout out to the, to the software guys and the technology we've built, the products and the technology and the software products that we built absolutely got us on that track. I think they're doing a damn good job and here's to another fourth year. Let's smash it. Yeah.